Hey everyone, this is Michael with Duncan Aviation. Today starts a small series of videos on where we're going to show you how we install Garmin's G5000 in the Citation XL and the XLS. Today, this is the last time these avionics are ever going to be turned on. In a few minutes, everything is going to be turned off and completely removed. Uh, we're going to remove all the avionics, all the wiring, the complete interior, all the um, autopilot servo brackets, everything. We're also going to remove everything in the avionics nose bay up in the front, including all that wiring. So let's just jump out and I'll show that to you here in a second. All right, so here we are at the nose avionics bay. This is all the original equipment. This all starts getting pulled out today. This is on the left hand side and over here on the right hand side, we're going to be taking all of this out as well. And so all the systems will be removed, all new wiring going all in there too. Let's jump back into the cockpit. So all pilots are going to want this system. The situational awareness is amazing. Most of these older systems don't have that level um, of uh, situational awareness. And with these new systems coming, we're all seeing it. And with the G5000, you're going to get it. Also, the reliability of the avionics is definitely where we're not had for a long time. So the reason owners are a little qu do question about these upgrades, it's around $600,000. but. 70 airplanes have already been upgraded. Flight Safety already has a G5000 simulator, so there's definitely some industry confidence that this system is a successful program and needed. But why? Uh, one of the big reasons is there's an avionics protection program most avionics manufacturers provide. Garmin doesn't have one, and it's interesting is they used to have it, but it failed. Nobody wanted it. One is because their systems or their equipment is so reliable. And when things do break, the cost to repair them is so low. So the ongoing maintenance cost of the, the Garmin system is so low, it is a huge reason why to do the upgrade. Anyway, we're going to continue to do more uh, videos on this, on what it takes, what it looks like when we take all of this out, what the nose looks like when it's gutted, and you'll get to see these huge wire bundles going in and everything it takes. So tune in. We'll have more for you coming soon.